Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Developer Minded SEO. In today's video, I'm going to explain you what are the five important areas which I focused to make my website to score better on Google PageSpeed Insight 2. So if you look at my website developermindedseo.com on Google PageSpeed Insight 2 will give you uh, shows 95 score for mobile device and 99 score for desktop device so in this video i'm going to explain you the five important things that i have made to achieve the score so before getting into this video i want to explain you a few important things about google page speed inside tool so the tool gives you two types of results the first one is lab data and another result is real user experience data the lab data gives you the result and the test environment and the real-time user experience data gives you the real-time Chrome user experience of your website. So the real-time user experience uh, data is taken into an account for Google uh, organic ranking. So if your website is brand new and you don't have large volume of traffic to get your real time user experience uh, then you then you only have lab result so that that definitely not going to affect your ranking on organic research results so instead of at this stage instead of focusing on page speed optimization you can focus on uh, other thing on the website to bring in targeted traffic but if you were um, well uh, it, but if you are established website and bringing a decent amount of traffic to your website then if your score is a uh, page speed optimization score is poor then you need to research on what are the top three to five position SARP. so if those websites are performing better on page speed insight tool then it's time to for, it's time for you to work on page speed insight to otherwise focus on other areas of the website to score um, to bring in targeted sales and traffic to your website so um, if you are uh, if you are work if you are in the scratch and you are looking to design a website which must look, score better on google page speed insight tool then this five uh, tips will definitely help you in making the new website to score better on Google PageSpeed Insight 2. So with this information, I would like to get into the video. So if you are new to my channel, I'm Ish, search engine marketer, and do you want more videos about technical SEO, page speed optimization, and conversion rate optimization, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel, Developer Minded SEO. So let's get into the video. So the number one tip is choose the right website hosting platform this gives this solves the 60 percent of uh, problem speed depends upon the server which you host to a recent statistics it shows uh, uh, 46 percentage of user looks to your e-commerce website to load within two seconds or three seconds if your website is loading more than two to three seconds then probably the user upon the website and go to the next one so if you are an e-commerce website then it is a super important to your website to be loaded within two seconds so choose the right website hosting platform equally you need to give importance to the security so uh, make sure it has the hstc protocol which helps to prevent from a man in one middle attack so i have used a kemi cloud for as my website hosting platform uh, so the number two choose the right website theme so your website theme also plays a major role in page speed loading time so the website theme should be responsible and lightweight so test your website for different screens and make sure it is responsible and uh, 
before getting started, use the empty theme on Google PageSpeed test, uh, Google PageSpeed Insight 2. So look at uh, whether it's showing the score of 100 for both mobile and desktop. So if it is sh showing 100, then it is a good sign to start working, building, a, building the code. In the beginning itself, it started to show 80 or 95, 92, something like that then you probably want to test on other website theme. So I am using Generate Press. Uh, it is a so lightweight theme and it, it is very easy to implement in it. And the third thing, make use of CDN. Okay. Uh, in my website, I have not invested on any CDN, but if you are an e-commerce website, I strongly recommend you to implement have a cdn and with that cdn you can import all the static assets and you can deliver it directly via the cdn so it will reduce tons of uh, loading time and it will deliver the result efficiently and then number four use caching plugin so I, in my website, I have used Lightspeed Cache. So there are many uh, caching plugins available. It is packed with full resources to optimize your website. It has deferred and async, uh, defer or async JSS or CSS code. And it has the option to unify the JS files and CSS files. And it has the preloading option also. It has many other options. So if you want uh, how to use a caching plugin effectively to optimize the page speed, then let me know in the comment section. I will make a video for it. And the last thing is I, I always stress in all my videos of page speed. Of, I know, uh, and the last thing is uh, I, I usually stress this in all my videos. Uh, use minimal plugins and third-party resources as much as you are um, using custom code and not relying much on third-party resources then your website the more you use uh, um, custom code the more effective <coughs> And the last thing I'll just mention this thing in all my paid speed optimization video is use minimal plugins and third party resources. This has major impact on loading time. So uh, in my website, I have used only seven plugins. So as much as possible, reduce the impact of third party resources and use minimal plugins on your website from today's video i hope you have learned new things from this video and if you find it useful please hit the like and subscribe to this channel and share it to your friends and if you have any technical seo questions please let me know in the comment section and if needed i can make a video on video on answering your question and see you on next useful video until then this is ish